Hi everyone, today I have a small haul from Ink on 3. These are the products I purchased with my discount code from Stamp Wars. And I want to let you know that this discount code is good until tomorrow, November the 19th. So if you're interested in any of these products, I'll have a link below in my description box. I'll have the discount code and um, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of the coupon which is 20% off your order. So that's a wonderful discount. All right, so I ordered a kit. They had a special going on and it was um, several products, including these four mini ink cubes and uh, two large ink pads, these two stamp sets, which I will show you, and a stencil. I also picked up some ultra fine embossing powder, which is clear and some ink refills and some pixie dust and there's a couple little stickers in here too now the grouping of products is no longer available as a special on the ink on three website but you can buy everything individually so um this grouping included a one of the ink on three no line coloring ink fade out ink and one of the atelier artist grade fusion ink which is um pitch black so i was excited about that because i wanted to try the pitch black ink. I had already tried the no line coloring, so uh, I like it a lot. And then it came with four of the Atelier ink cubes and the colors that it came with. Goddess green, Trinity teal, marigold orange, and bee, bee sting yellow. Okay, so these are available individually for sale. I do like these colors. They give you a nice primary uh, color base. You can ink blend them to get a nice rainbow. Here's the um, detail embossing powder. This was not part of the kit, but I wanted to get it. It's crystal clear ultra fine embossing powder, which I use a lot of ultra fine embossing powder that's clear. I also purchased a pitch black ink refill and some liquid pixie dust but this is the willow tree stencil that came with the kit it's a six by six stencil this is the botanical thinking of you stamp set it has this lovely floral image as well as the sentiments thinking of you wishing you a beautiful birthday the word and and the symbol answer and sending hugs on your birthday sending love sending prayers I really like these sentiments. I like the font. Um, they could be used for a lot of the cards that I make. And then this is the stamp set we used on Stamp Wars. This one's called Give a Hoot. And the sentiments include thank you for owl you do. Happy fall. I'll always be grateful for you. Hope your birthday is a hoot. You're a hoot. You, hooray you did it. And um, there's a large owl and a smaller owl. Currently, this stamp set is sold out, but if you put your email address on the website, they will contact you when it's back in stock again. I'll also have a link below to the video that I made for follow-up after Stamp Wars. If you go to that video and comment, you have the opportunity to be entered in to win a prize. And the prize that I'm giving away is the Give a Hoot stamp set because I already received it and I got an extra one in my set that I purchased. And I'm also going to give away one of the fade out no line coloring inks and this liquid pixie dust because I already have one, but I like it a lot and I thought that'd be a good giveaway. So to enter the giveaway, head on over to my other video, leave a comment and I'm going to be picking a winner very soon for that. Let's go ahead and ink up this stamp. I'm going to go ahead and use the Atelier Pitch Black ink and I'm going to ink up this botanical thinking of you, this uh, botanical element, which I think is stunning. And it's a nice size, so it does fill up most of your card front. You could stamp this and then ink blend a background and put a sentiment on and you're good to go. But what I'm going to do today stamp it out my first uh, ch chance to ever use this kind of ink now this ink is uh, again the pitch black it is a specialty water reactive artist grade fusion ink acid free and archival 
um, use with paintbrush to watercolor. You can also spritz with water after stamping for fun effects. Um, you can use this on most paper surfaces. Now, this is a fusion ink. I don't know if you would call it. I'm not sure what what all is in it as far as the type of ink, but I did find that it takes a while to dry. Um, so I would basically caution you that if you do stamp with this, give your stamp image time to dry. It just is very good though, as far as the quality of that ink, because it gives you a really crisp impression and wonderful details. Next, I have my stencil inside my Misty with a piece of paper. And I'm going to use these small blending brushes to do a rainbow background using these inks. They're so pretty and vibrant. And I have a grip mat in my Misty. So the grip mat will hold. Oh, I just poked myself. That hurt. The grip mat will hold my piece of paper and my stencil in place. Okay, bear with me while I get these inks open. Thankfully, I can fast forward through that part. Okay, and I have these little tiny makeup brushes, which I got from Amazon. And um, they're in Nancy Stamps Amazon shop if you want to buy them under her tools that she recommends. Then I'll just save these little blending brushes to use with these inks in the future. And just so you know, I did speed this part up a little bit because it takes me a while to get the inks open. And um, yeah, I'm a slow crafter, you know. And I apologize for the sound of my voice and being, you know, scratchy. But I have a tremendous head cold. So I am fighting that this weekend. And it started on Wednesday or Thursday, and today's Saturday. And last night, basically, there was copious amounts of phlegm. And I did not get much sleep. But I wanted to get this video up before that coupon expires. Again, if you look at my description box below, you can see that there is a coupon code for um, follow-up after Stamp Wars. Save 20% on your order. And if you do go ahead and order, I would also recommend you get the Ink on 3 Stamp Cleaner, which is the most amazing stamp cleaner for clear and rubber stamps. You um, basically uh, wipe off your ink from your stamp, and then you dab and rub the ink cleaning pad on top. And then you can repeat if necessary, but for the most part, it really takes it off all on the first swipe. And I did use it in my follow-up after Stamp Wars video if you want to see what it does. And also, there's a refill for this product. So I would recommend getting the refill so that you can use it again and again and again. And even when your stamp cleaner turns dark colors, it still works perfectly. So Florette is the owner of Ink on 3. And I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to meet her in person at Simon Says Create event. Uh, we were working for Kitchen Sink Stamps, Nancy and I. Isn't that beautiful? I love that stencil. And uh, Ink on 3 was right beside us. So that was fun. <clears throat> oh, here's that ink off cleaner. You can use it on your... Um, grip mat too. You can use it on your Misty. Like if you get ink on your Misty, you can use it there too. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take my silicone mat and this is just the silicone mat I got off of Amazon. I'm going to spray the stencil with some water. I just grab a piece of cardstock, press down on that wet surface and get a beautiful watercolor background. It's always great when you can get a two for one with your stencils. All right, this is nice and wet. Here's my cardstock. I'm just gonna hold it down for a few seconds. Pull it up. And there's my background, beautiful. All right, I made two cards, one landscape, one portrait. 
I used the watercolor background and the stamped botanical image on my first card and then I used the ink blended stencil on my second card. Hold on here, I'll do each card at a time and I'll explain how I created them. I cut out the botanical image, put it in the center of my watercolor background, added some little pearls and the sentiment says sending prayers, which is from that stamp set. And then my second card has the ink blended stencil and this word hope, which comes from waffle flower. I will have it linked below in my description box. And here's another picture of the watercolor card. I think this is just really elegant and you could use it for get well, for sympathy, lots of occasions. It's a really pretty image. And then here's another picture of both cards together for the watercolor card. I put it on yellow card base or I put a yellow mat, I'm sorry, I put a yellow mat behind the watercolor panel. And then for the ink blended stencil, I just used a black card base. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Next time, hopefully my voice won't sound like this when you watch my video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. All those things are so helpful to me as I try to grow my YouTube channel. I'm getting close to 4,000 and I can't wait till I get there and celebrate with all of you with lots of giveaways. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.